parade nestled along the wetlands of Lake Macquarie Park opened its doors. Today, its patiently awaited replacement sits atop this same tract of land. This is the third of three major city building projects that will garner a LEED certification for leading environmental and engineering design. In this case, we expect a gold certification, making it the first gold LEED certified fire station in the state of Florida. There are numerous lead features in the building and supporting site. Water will be conserved via harvesting and storage of rainwater. Low flow, dual flush toilets have been installed and drought tolerant landscaping. Electricity will be conserved from a highly efficient AC system consisting of two compressors and six air handlers. A reflective roof system, enhanced insulation throughout, and a state-of-the-art lighting management system complemented with an abundance of, of natural light from all building sides. In addition to the utility savings, building maintenance expenses are expected to be substantially less due to the structural brick interior, as you can see throughout, wood paneling and cabinetry that should last a lifetime, and, and virtually maintenance-free flooring. Although the woodwork, as you may tour this building after we speak, looks rather exotic, it's really several of the 200 plus species of bamboo that can be replenished due to quick growth at light years the speed of your conventional hardwoods. And although the flooring looks like terrazzo, it's really concrete with granite aggregate and a pigmented cement that is micro-grounded and burnished to look almost like artwork. Congratulations to the building's architect, Jason Jensen, from Wanamaker Jensen for a superb job, and to our contractor, Lemur Con Construction, owned by Jonathan Stanton, with a project managed by Skip Wilkerson and Superintendent John Van Hoff. This is the city's third major project to garner LEED certification, with now two of the three having been constructed by city-certified small business enterprises. Yes. But perhaps the most interesting part of the project is about the planning and perseverance. The original project budget was over $4 million due to a scope of work that included placing the station in privately owned property that we were planning to purchase. Through another look at the geotechnical conditions at the site, we determined that we could rebuild the station in the same footprint that existed before. And through the intense and involved cooperation with our Parks and Recreation Department, with the support of the Friends of Boyd Hill, we were able to get this station approved for its location with a temporary station installed in the very south end of the Lake Magori Picnic Park. 